presents Wastewater Map calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example is to calculate food to microorganism uh, ratio, the FM ratio. Now, first thing I want to do is go over the details of the problem that we're going to solve today. Um, in this problem we have influent flow uh, in MGD, million gallons per day, of 4.5 and influent BOD in milligrams per liter of 250. In our aeration tank, uh, we have tank dimensions in feet. Uh, the length is 90, the width is 225, and the water depth of 18. And the mixed liquor volatile suspended solids concentration in milligrams per liter is 3,120. So that's the data that we're going to use in this F to M ratio um, calculation. And the next thing we want to do, we want to look at the formula, of course, which is this section right here. The formula for F to M ratio is one number divided by another. So the first number we have to solve for is the pounds of BOD per day entering the aeration tank. And we're going to divide that by the pounds of mixed liquor volatile suspended solids under aeration. Um, and we're actually going to put that in one formula in our Excel spreadsheet. And we're just going to take and we're going to count, we're going to include all the data needed to calculate the pounds per day first and then we're going to divide it by all the information needed to calculate the pounds of mixed liquid volatile suspended solids under aeration. So if you come up here and you look at this portion of the spreadsheet you see how everything is is calculated. Uh, we're going to start out with the equal sign and we're going to put in the information to calculate the pounds of BOD per day and everything is set up in the um, correct unit of expression to enter uh, directly into the formula. So we're going to have um, the first number we're going to enter is, is going to be the flow um, in million gallons per day, which is 4.5. Then we're going to put in the concentration of BOD in milligrams per liter entering the aeration tank, which is 250. And then we're going to multiply that by the standard conversion factor from gallons to pounds, which is 8.34. So if you just take these three numbers right here, the 4, 4.5, 250, and the 8.34, and you multiply the three numbers together, that's the portion of the formula that's going to give you the pounds per day of BOD entering the aeration tank. So now we're going to get the bottom part of the formula. We've got to calculate the pounds of mixed liquor volatile suspended solids under aeration. Now, the first part of that formula requires us to put in gallons of water and put them in as increments of millions so that we actually have a million gallons or mg. Now, unfortunately, we do not have the gallons of water. We only have tank dimensions. So we're going to have to take the tank dimensions, calculate the cubic feet, convert it to gallons, and then divide it by a million and put it put it into increments of millions. So we're going to start out right here in this part of the formula. Remember we got our division sign here so we're going to take the first number we're going to divide it by the second number which is going to be the combination of all the rest of these numbers on the right hand side of the division key. So we're going to calculate the uh, gallons of water first and then we're going to come to do that we're going to put in these three tank dimensions. Uh, the length is in feet is 90 uh, the width in feet is 225 
and the water depth in feet is 18. So you take those three numbers, multiply them by themselves, and then you multiply it um, 7.48 to convert it from cubic feet to gallons. And that's going to give us gallons. And then, of course, in order to put it into the formula, we've got to have it in, in increments of millions per million gallons. So we're simply going to divide it by a million. So all of those numbers will give us the, the gallons of water uh, in aeration. Um, and then we need to have the um, MLVSS, which you see down here is 3120. So we're going to multiply the 3120. And then we're going to have the standard conversion factor from gallons to pounds, which is 8.34. You divide, you, yeah, you multiply and divide all that stuff, get everything in the uh, proper um, parentheses for, for, for the appropriate order of operation uh, and your answer is going to be a F to M ratio of uh, 0.13. Now that's the basic formula and that's how you calculate it and you can actually put this in your Excel spreadsheet and just change your actual numbers and you can actually use this as a standard mathematical uh, formula for F to M ratio. For some of you who may I uh, want to have a little more detail in uh, improvising the or customizing the formula for uh, for other work. I'm going to spend a little more time on that uh, on this video. Uh, and the first thing I want to point out here is I want to talk about this 4.5. Uh, the 4.5 is um, the influent flow uh, in MGD. Uh, sometimes we're not given flow. Um, uh, in increments of millions, sometimes we're given the flow in in uh, um, uh, gallons per day, or sometimes we're given the flow in some other uh, in, uh, time increment, uh, and we may need to build in those particular flow conversions uh, into the formula. So if that's the case, then what you simply do is put another set of uh, open and closed parentheses around this 4.5, uh, and then you just put in the information, replace the information, replace the 4.5 uh, with the information needed to uh, calculate your flow uh, so that you end up with increments of millions. So for example, uh, let's just say you were given 450,000 gallons as your influent flow. Well, you would just simply put your parentheses in there. You'd put 450,000 divided by a million uh, so, uh, and then close parentheses, and you would use that to replace the 4.5. Uh, so you can still use this same basic formula, but you simply cu uh, customize it so you can put in the number necessary uh, so that you can uh, calculate your flow or convert your flow. Um, also, if you look at this section over here where we're actually calculating the gallons of um, um, capacity, of the aeration tank, where we're taking the tank dimensions, multiplying it by 7.48, dividing it by a million. Uh, that's what you need to use um, if you have tank dimensions. Uh, and of course, you want to make sure that you've got all your dimensions in this feet. And if you don't have feet, then you just uh, put an open and close parentheses around the appropriate number uh, so that you can calculate it to feet. Um, and or uh, maybe you're given gallons, and if you're given gallons, you can just take these four numbers here, and you can just replace them with whatever the gallons are, um, so that you don't have to go through the calculation of the gallons, you just simply change the number uh, to put the gallons in there. Uh, another thing, you may actually have um, your, your, your gallons of water, uh, uh, gallons in your aeration tank expressed in million gallons which case you would take this whole thing from the 90 all the way down to the million and just replace it with whatever, whatever that number is. For example, oh, we've got a 4.5 in over here for the incoming flow. We could simply replace this whole sequence of numbers here uh, with the um, decimal equivalent uh, in, as million gallons for the, uh, for the aeration tank. The last thing I want to point out is the details about this 3120. Uh, 3120 is given to us as a mixed liquor volatile suspended solids. And in fact, you may not be given MLVSS. You may be given mixed liquor suspended solids. 
um, and uh, uh, given a uh, decimal equivalent uh, for the um, volatile portion of those solids. Say, for example, you might be given uh, mixed liquor suspended solids as 4,000, and say maybe the uh, MLVSS is 75% of that, uh, some, some combination of numbers like that. Uh, then what you would do in that case, you would take this form, you put the op open and close parentheses around the 3120, you replace the 3120 with your 4,000, which would be the whatever amount you're given for MLSS, in this case 4,000, uh, and then your multiplication sign, you do your asterisk here, uh, and then you put in the uh, decimal equivalent of the percentage for your volatiles. In this case, 75% would be 0.75. So we would be taking the 3120, open and close parentheses around it, replace it with 4,000 uh, times uh, 0.75. So um, these are these are ways you can customize this basic formula in order for you to get the information uh, that you need to solve your, your problem. I think it's relatively foolproof. I don't think you're going to have any problems with it um, if you put your numbers in there appropriately. I um, also would encourage you to, to ask me some additional uh, wastewater math um, uh, problems. Uh, you, can, you can go through the source that you found this video or you can go to environmentalacademy.com and you can uh, send me an email that way either using the email address on the form or or just filling out my um, email form uh, which is on the website so I hope this is helpful and um, uh, you know if you think it is subscribe to my um, YouTube channel um, I've got 23 uh, subscribers now I would love for uh, you to, to, to be number the next one um, I had 23 when I recorded this. I don't know how many it will be when you're actually listening. And I uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot. Take care and uh, talk to you later.